Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can ask questions in plain English or natural language and get the answers directly from the SQL database. And the best part is you don't require any SQL knowledge. You don't have to write any manual queries. And in fact, there is no delay. Normally for using the knowledge base with a chat application, you use RAG, which is retrieval augmented generation. That means you need to upload the documents, chunk them, create the embedding. And in fact, you can do the vectorization and chunking of the SQL data also. However, in this case, we don't need RAG at all. And the reason is because the data is already structured and inside a SQL table. So we don't need to add more complexity. We'll use the function calling of Azure OpenAI and then get the real time. And using the SQL queries, we'll fetch the live data in real time. So now what is the benefit of this approach? First, you get the real time answers. You're not doing point in time chunking or vectorization of data. So the data will be directly coming from the database. Of course, it's simple to build. There are no vector stores, no embedding, no chunking has to be done. And it's, and it's much faster to implement because now you just have a chat application who is directly connecting with your database and getting the details out of it. Now, if we'll talk about the use cases, there are multiple use cases. For example, in your organization, you have business users who wants to get data about the sales products or inventory, and they can just use a normal language, ask a question in the chatbot, and the chatbot will provide all the details about sales and products. And same thing can be done with the HR or the finance team so that they can query the employees, what are their expenses and everything, which are saved in a SQL database. If we'll talk about the schools and universities, now you can easily check the students records or academic reports which are saved in the SQL database. So you have to just write what you're looking for in the chatbot and rest of the thing will be taken care by LLM. It will create a query for you and then that query will run against the database and provide you a real time result. So in the lab, I'm going to build a smart assistant using Azure OpenAI and Python, which connects directly to Azure SQL database using the function calling. And you can simply ask list the students in the computer science stream or how many enrollments were done after 2022. So assistant will understand what you mean, create a correct SQL query, get the data out of it, which will be in the table format. It will understand the result and create a human friendly summary, which is specifically designed for non-technical users. So let's check the step-by-step -step deployment of this in the lab. I'm logged into Azure portal now and I have already created a database and the SQL server underneath. So if I'll go to my SQL database and go to the query editor, I've already created a table with the name students. So let's check what's in this table. And there are only three student IDs, which shows the student name, stream, and the enrollment date. For this lab, I've created a small database. So next step is to deploy OpenAI model. So let's go to OpenAI, Azure OpenAI, create. I'll use the same. Resource group, East US2, shell in the OpenAI 001, standard as zero. Next, all networks, everything default, and I'll just create it. So running the final validation. And once it's done, I'll click on create. Validation is successful. Let's create it. So this is going to deploy an OpenAI resource and once that is done and once that is done, I'll open it in Azure AI Foundry portal. I'll pause the video. We'll be back once it's deployed. Deployment is successful. Let's go to resource and explore AI Foundry portal. On the left side, let's go to the deployments and deploy a GPT-40 model. Base model. 
फोर ओ एंड डिप्लॉय सो मॉडल इज डिप्लॉयड नाउ सो आई हैव ऑलरेडी क्रिएटेड द कोड विच आई एल शो यू नाउ सो दिस इज अ पाइथन कोड there are certain requirements you have to install python odbc open ai aio http and python dotnet environment so that it can pull the environment variable so after importing all the variables so what it's doing it's loading the configuration and for that we need to provide dot env so let's fill this information first and i have already provided the connection string for odbc driver 18 this i have for the database because the database was already created now let's provide the open ai api key and point and api version so let's go back so let's copy this this is endpoint API key, and you can get the version from here. And that's all. Save it. So let's come back. Now it's loading the configuration for Azure Open AI as well as the SQL connection string. Afterwards, it's now after. after that it's describing the sql it's taking multiple options like how the query should look like if you filter by name if you filter by name or year count per stream or date filter so it defines how the query should be created then how it should be executed it's using the python odbc connect and it's printing the raw json output now we don't want a json output we want A human-friendly way output, and for that we are summarizing it using the LLM itself. So we are providing what. So whatever the result you get, you should summarize the result in a natural language. And for this, we are using the function calling of Azure OpenAI. And this this is the chat application, where first the schema is defined of the database, and once schema is defined, then it connects to the database. run the queries summarize it and provide it to you so let's test this in lab i have already created the virtual environment what you can do is python hyphen m virtual environment virtual environment this will create a virtual environment then you have to activate it which i'll do it now virtual environment scripts activate it's activated After that, you have to install pip install hyphen r requirements dot txt. I have already done it. So, but you if you'll run this, all the packages in the requirements dot txt will be installed. That's done. And now run python application dot py. And perfect. It's asking for list all the students. so first it's providing me the query show sure, this is the query now then it's getting the json output and then the bot is providing the output or the in a summarized way there are three students which one is enrolled in this this is bit of a information i don't need that but let's ask some other question which student was enrolled in 2023 and because it already had that information in its memory so it provided me directly bob smith enrolled in this much what is the last name of student bob smith so it's getting all the details because it's in memory but if you'll rerun it it will run the query let's close the application 
So let's rerun this and ask another question. Which student is enrolled in 2023? And it's running the query, getting the information and then and you're getting the summary in a natural language, which was enrolled on January 10th, 2023. So now you don't need a rag. You don't need to connect your database to AI search where the import and vectorization and chunking will happen. You can directly connect to your database and then fetch the details. This way you will have more control over your data as well as you will get the real time data. So that's all I wanted to show in this video. I hope you liked it. Please like and subscribe. Thank you so much.